Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to use System Restore in Windows 11. This feature is similar to a time machine, as it enables you to return your system to its previous state, a point in time when everything worked properly. It is especially useful when you encounter issues due to recent changes or updates that did not go as planned. That is, this feature is able to restore Windows without affecting your personal data, such as documents, photos, or music. When you feel that your computer is starting to behave incorrectly and unstable, you can use the System Restore feature to return your computer to its previous, more stable state. But first, you must create a System Restore point, and you can create a Restore point in Windows 11 manually or automatically, and the steps for both methods are very easy and simple. I will first explain how to create a restore point automatically on Windows 11. Automatic creation of restore points ensures that your system saves snapshots of its current state on a regular basis. This is crucial because it provides an up-to-date backup to refer to in the event of any system issues or glitches without the need for manual intervention every time. The first thing you have to do is type create a restore point in the search box, then open it from the search results. This will open the System Properties window. From this window, make sure that you are on the System Protection tab. You will find that the system's drive protection is off, which means that a restore point has not been created for this driver the system. And to create a restore point automatically, click the Configure button. Then select the option, Turn on System Protection, and select the maximum disk space usage. Disk space usage determines the amount of stored space allocated on your hard drive for storing restore points. This space is used to save the snapshots of your system's state at different times, which can be reverted to in case of system issues. A common recommendation is to allocate around 5-10% of your total hard drive space to system restore points. After that, click apply and then OK with these steps. A system restore point was created automatically and you have a restore point created on your computer. You will find that the protection of the system drive has been changed to on. Now, I will explain to you how to manually create restore points in Windows 11. This method is especially useful when you are about to make major changes to your system, such as installing programs or making fundamental modifications to system settings. Manually creating a restore point gives you a specific recovery point to return to if these changes negatively affect system performance or stability. And to create restore points in Windows 11 manually, click the Create button. A window will appear to enter a description of the restore point. When creating restore points manually, it is important to use clear, specific, and meaningful descriptions. This helps you easily determine the purpose and context of each restore point when you need to return your system to that state. Then click on the Create button and it will start creating the restore point for your system immediately. Creating the restore points may take some time depending on your computer and data. In any case, wait until the restore point is successfully completed. You will see a message stating that the restore point was created successfully, and thus you also have a restore point that was created manually. The system restore point in Windows 11 is a vital tool that acts as the lifeline of your computer's operating system. After I explain to you how to create a system restore point, manually and automatically, I will explain to you how to return to a previous restore point in Windows 11, where you can return your system back to the restore point that was created. It is a crucial step when you need to undo changes that caused system instability or other issues. By specifying a specific restore point that precedes the occurrence of the problem, you can return to the previous restore point in two ways. The first method is through System Properties. Type Create a Restore Point in the search box and open it from the search results. In the System Properties window, make sure you are on the System Protection tab. And to return to the Restore Point, click on the System Restore button. Then click the Next button in the System Restore window. If you have more than one Restore Point, it will appear in this table. Select the point you want. I'll select this point because I've only created one restore point and then click next. Then click finish. A warning message will appear. Confirm it by clicking the yes button. The system will begin to return to the state that was captured at the chosen restore point. 
This includes restoring system files, settings, registry entries, and installed drivers to their state at that time. During this process, your computer becomes temporarily unusable, after which the computer will restart several times. Leave the computer until the recovery process is completed to restore the system point, then type the password and wait for the confirmation message that the recovery process has been completed and the system restore point has been completed successfully. Thus, the steps to restore the restore point have been completed successfully. And there is another way to restore the restore point, which is by booting from advanced startup options. This method is usually used when you are unable to boot into Windows 11 normally. This method is vital in situations where system issues prevent regular startup, allowing you to still access system restore and return your system to working order. It is an important recovery tool for troubleshooting and resolving more serious system problems that hinder normal operation. To load the recovery environment for the operating system by booting, click the start button and select settings. On the left side, click on system and on the other side, scroll down and select recovery. In the advanced startup option, click on the restart now button. This will restart the computer, but it will open for you to boot into the repair environment. Wait a little while until you boot into the repair environment, after that, click on the troubleshoot option. After that, select the advanced options option, and then, click on the system restore option. Click next to continue, then select the restore point you want to use from the restore points you created before and click next. Then click on finish button and confirm by clicking on the yes button in the warning message that will appear to you and the system starts reverting to the state captured at the chosen restore point. This involves rolling back system files, settings, registry entries and installed programs to their status at that point in time. During this process, your computer becomes temporarily unusable. This process may take some time. You must wait until this process is completed successfully. When the message system restore completed successfully appears, the system point has been restored completely successfully. Click on the restart button, and the system or windows will open for you in a correct, normal, and problem-free manner. I advise you to create a restore point for your system periodically so that you can restore windows at any time in the event of any problems or instability in your system. I hope that the video is useful to you, and I thank you for watching. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.